previously on the Ha Zhang Loop. Look at it, look at it, it's got a crack in it. <laughs> we started our journey two days ago in Ha Zhang. We have seen some jaw dropping landscapes, luscious green mountains, and put some smiles on local village children's faces. Priceless. So far, we have covered 158 kilometers, but today is the big one. We're going to be traveling from Dong Van all the way back to Ha Zhang, which was around 150 kilometers. Be sure to stick around throughout this video as we immerse in traditional Vietnamese culture and take on the challenges that lie before us on this epic final day. So sit back and enjoy the video. But first, before we get to all of that, we need to take a visit to the local doctor because we have a problem. So Ken, we had like two or three jabs before we come here for rabies. So then if we do get rabies, we have longer to get to the hospital. In Vietnam, is it only 220,000 per shot? So for the whole course, it costs you 660,000. Normally he said that you need to do five shots. Five shots? Yeah, so, but at least, Three shots. About $40, right? When we paid about $250 for us. Crazy. What are we doing so far? Getting a rabies job. Got scratched by a cat. So on, on our third day of the Hagyang loop, we've had to stop so we can get a quick shot. You've got another one in Hanoi, right? Yeah, I've got two. I don't think you needed to because you already had the. If you haven't had any vaccinations, you've got to have the full course after. If you because we've had the vaccinations for the carton, you just need two. See it? I'm not infected anymore. That's all weird. It looked like a uh, vaccine coming out. It looked like a what? The vaccine coming out. The vaccine came out? I don't know. My hair gets so itchy with the helmet. I think it's because it's curly. It like, irritates it. Okay. No. <laughs> stop thinking about that. Yeah, stop thinking about it. It's so easy to say. I didn't even go take a shower last night. You didn't. No. no. You what? <laughs> didn't take a shower last night. Day three. Day three. Day three. You're not like this. Yes. Day I day do three. this. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, we're driving back to Hanoi today, right? No, no. Hagiang. Hagiang. Four o'clock. We're back on the road. Where are we? To the King Palace. This is the palace of uh, Hermon King. But in fact, he's not here now. He disappeared. <laughs> he's disappeared? <laughs> they got to die. What was his body here and he's disappeared? Yeah, no, they just barely him here. Oh, okay. Yeah. In fact, this is the palace of the king, but his, there's no more king in this place. Okay. Yeah, this palace. Just his family and his next generation are protected. Yeah, yeah. And now they want to show to reach a part of their culture okay. and their history, their family history. <laughs> The palace of the Hmong kings was built in 1902 and was the seat of power to the two Hmong rulers. The palace was transformed into a tourism site in 1993 after being acknowledged as a national historic relic. It's very small. Yeah. It's because it, was it uh, people smaller? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again. I can't wait to get on the road again. Tourists come here during summer season just to take picture with this flower. In fact, they are like kind of vegetable. Vegetable. Yeah. They 
Don't eat the leaf, but they eat the seed. After the flower drop, the small seed like a wheat come out. Then they will collect the seed to make cake, to make food, to make like noodle. The lady who owns this bit of land charges tourists 10,000 Vietnamese dong to come in and take pictures here. Ken asked her how much she would sell the land for and she said $100,000. It seems like a lot for a small bit of land, but that view is unreal. twisty road was called Tam Ma Pass. As you can see there are local children with flowers in their baskets. They wait for tourists and you can pay for a photo with them if you like in front of the iconic S-shaped road. What's that from? Mm. Sunburn. Sunburn? Really? Sunburn. Oh, oh that's from today? Got no price there. Oh, yeah. Good. It's recommended that you drive a semi-automatic bike for instances like this. We had a lorry coming past us which didn't leave much room for us so we had to go on this really bumpy gravelly bit which would have been a lot harder if it wasn't for our semi-automatic bike. Yeah, woo. Yeah. <laughs> you say wood. As we're riding along these roads you'll see all the gravel churned up and there's not really much to save you of falling off the cliff if you were to hit one of those big stones. And then as you come round onto this road you'll see the cars just drive so close to you and there's no barriers at all to save you here. Passing through a small local village, we took a pit stop at a local hemp workshop. How do they make it from the plants? How do they get it from? First step, they take. You need to come here. They take this. We call it. Okay, that's the interview. She will be interview everything in her workshop for you. Hemp fabric is organic fabric made from the bark of the hemp tree grown on higher mountains. Compared with craft cotton fabric and craft silk, hemp fabric is more durable and is easy to wash and doesn't stretch out of shape. Okay, how much there is there like that they've made? And then all that probably just goes like a couple t-shirts. That would have taken days. More. More? Yeah, of course. Weeks? Yeah. Oh my god. How long does it sit in the skin for? For three or four days in more. Yeah. It's scary. If you miss it one step, yeah. it might break your leg. Yeah, oh my god. It's because there's it's a that rock. Heavy? <laughs> <laughs> okay. The colour will stick on their fabric. It stains basically. Yeah. Are you buying so? 
purse. Find a purse for our money. My little hemp. We've trimmed down this part of the video. If you'd like to see the full process from start to finish on how they make it from the hemp plant to the fabric, let us know in the comments and we'll make a full YouTube video on it. Okay guys, this is a coffee with bad eye view. Cheers. I'm used to give all I have. I'm used to get nothing back. Wherever I go, it's the same. There's no excuses, no one to blame. Sometimes I can understand how it can be so hard to stay out of pain. But with you, everything has changed, even though we both stay the same. Would you call me on the midnight train? Would you come over when nothing's right? Would you hold me tight in the rain? Even as we're having a fight. Well guys, we are coming to the end of the most incredible trip we had in Vietnam. It was rated number one on our top 10 video and now you can see why that is. We were finishing with the most incredible sunset drive as well. We loved every second of it. We saw so much wildlife, the locals were so friendly and it really has opened our eyes and made us see a completely different world to what we're personally used to. A perfect end of the trip to a perfect three days. In this moment, we were just reflecting on how we felt so lucky to be able to travel around this beautiful country and enjoy this amazing trip. We're now back at our original homestay that we set off from in Ha Zhang. The family were so kind, they cooked us a complimentary dinner, which wasn't supposed to be included. Three nights in a row with the shots. <laughs> How was it? Really good. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, really, really good, yeah. Amazing. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. Did you say it to uh, Ryan? Yeah, she was in the back of my bike. Oh, yeah, yeah. What was it doing? Oh, you know you're doing it. Yeah? Yeah. Come on, ready? Cheers. Bye. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. What's the country? That's Cambodia. Oh, Cambodia. Cambodia. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. We're watching our YouTube in our home stay. More rice wine. Dung mung. Dung mung. Dung mung. Thank you guys for watching this two part series on the Ha Zhang Loop. We hope you enjoyed it. And also, we really want to thank you for all the support you've been giving our channel lately. We really, really appreciate it. It's helping our channel grow more than you know. So keep on hitting that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time. Bye.